Cheers everybody, welcome back to another one. And in this one we've got a Spanish supermarket beer from the Mercadona supermarket. We have um, a Reserva clocking in at 7.2. Super smashing great, there you go. Not a lot of info on this at all. There's the crown, let's just crack it open and see if it's any good or not. What you do. That is a crown reserva. See what we're getting at. Not much. Not getting much out of that. Let's pour it out. In fact, it didn't smell of anything. So, beer in a glass, gold, hardly any carbonation. Thin in head. Aroma again. It's not really. There's, you pick up the alcohol in the aroma. But you're not picking up anything else, to be honest. It's pretty non plus. I'm going to go in. Cheers. Um, it's in a nutshell a strong multi got this funny taste of it wishy washy lager to be honest it's Puts itself across as something special, Reserva, you know. Um, then again, I've had the Cruz Campo Reserva out here, and that was pretty ropey. This is on the lines of that. It's most probably the supermarket's answer to the Cruz Campo Grand Reserve. It, it, that's what. That's how it's coming across that. Um, does it drink like it? It does, certainly does. It does have that syrupy, sticky edge to it, like the Cruz Campo has. Um, to be honest with you, just look, I've got another one, I do. Um, to be honest with you, what do I think of it? It's, you know, it's drinkable, but it's not really ticking any other boxes to be honest it's pretty mundane stuff um down again smooth yeah a bit thin in body yeah syrupy yeah malty yeah and that's about it um so overall it's pretty, pretty boring, to be honest. So, I'll show the bottle. Mercadona's Reserva. Nah, we'll bother. See you in my next one.